percent of value at Ripple, we're thinking much bigger than just cross-border payments. It's kind of like Amazon with rare books in the early days. Just this market happens to be a $10 trillion market. We are at a historic turning point. Said in the past that you are doing for money what email did for communication. It's moving the whole revolution forward. Got it. There's trillions of dollars parked around the world. RP. Is there a possibility that Ripple could take over Swift one day? Well, they... Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of 24 Hours Crypto. Let's get right into today's video. This is monumental. So Swift just dropped an article stating that they're going to have live trials of digital asset transactions on Swift to start in 2025. And the information we're going to go over today is going to be monumental. And I want you to comment down below what your thoughts are after I explain to you the positioning that Ripple and its digital asset XRP has to play in here. They don't name XRP in here, of course. They don't name any digital assets in here. But listen to this and you got to read between the lines and you need to see what's coming down the pipelines. Because Ripple is a part of ISO 20022 Registration Management Group member list. You also have the DTCC involved here. You also have Modulub, Nacha, MasterCard, all Ripple Net partners, and that is 100% facts. And they're also a part of the payment SEG member list, which I'm going to break down what these mean. But also Ripple, everybody is a, a part of this. And Ripple is pretty much working directly or indirectly with every single one of these members and companies on this list, which is so, so overlooked and it blows my mind. But listen to what is stated in this article because this is where the important information is. They state that starting in 2025, global financial institutions will have the ability to use SWIFT global platform to conduct pilot transactions for the settlement of digital assets and currencies. These trials will demonstrate how financial institutions can transact interchangeably across both existing and emerging asset and currency types using their current SWIFT connection. Keep in mind, a digital asset like XRP is going to be crucial in the new infrastructure that they're rolling out. They even state that there's currently 134 countries that are exploring CBDCs. And we know CBDCs are pretty much stable coins. And the size of the tokenized asset market is forecasted by Standard Chartered. They're saying it's going to go to a high as 30 trillion by 20, uh, 2034. And I could tell you right now, that is a very, very conservative number. They will never come out and tell you their legit bold number ever. And I can attest to that given my experience within the financial ecosystem of 10 years, which I quit almost a couple months ago, which I didn't let you guys know, but I will talk about it. But we lied. Okay. And that's the truth. But take a listen to what I have to tell you here. I'm going to break down the different, uh, the meaning of this registration management group, the SEG, how Ripple, Swift are like this XRP, they're positioning XRP to have a crucial role, okay? You're, you're not gonna duplicate XRP. There isn't gonna be a new coin. Swift is not gonna create a brand new coin. Do you know how much time and effort goes into that? Remember, the blockchain that they're gonna be utilizing has been reviewed since, since day one. They have been following the XRP ledger to see if there's any downtime. You know Stellar had downtime. You know Solana had downtime. You know when Bitcoin starts picking up, it gets congested. Those blockchains are not going to be used within financial institutions for cross-border payments. But take a listen to this. This is very important. Before I break it down, also listen to what Tom says here. As new forms of value emerge, what did I tell you? We are going to see this crypto ecosystem go absolutely haywire because there's going to be new forms of value that are going to be coming on chain that will complement XRP. Okay, this is very important for you guys to understand. We're unlocking value that we haven't before, the internet of value, something we have not seen before. Okay, we're all gonna witness this together. And we're all gonna be very wealthy in the future together because we are at ground zero. Remember, stop listening to that little voice in your head. It's just all about patience. People will be blindsided. So the payment SEG, Okay, the standard evaluation group focuses on evaluating and ma maintaining standards within the payment industry. And what are the odds that RippleNet is a part of that? As a member of this group, Ripple gains a seat at the table to influence the future direction of payment standards globally. Since day one, Ripple has been leading the way. 
Other members such as Module Foundation, MasterCard, Accenture, and other partners are already working with Ripple in various capacities. Ripple's presence alongside these institutions in these critical standard bodies signifies deepening collaboration and shared goals. Do you not understand this? These are the round table meetings, closed door meetings that, you know, that take place and they share all their goals and their plans. The registration management group, the RMG, is responsible for overseeing the governance and registration of the ISO 20022 messaging standards, which is the global standard for electronic data interchange between financial institutions. And get ready to get completely mind blown when I'm talking about settlement and data transfer. Listen to this little montage that I put together, which you guys heard maybe two weeks ago, but it goes hand in hand with what we're discussing right now. Do you see how big this is going to get? And the other spokesperson is uh, from Citibank. Ripple is dramatically different in that at, at the core, we're, we're an enterprise software company. We're selling bank infrastructure uh, that uses blockchain technology to dramatically improve cross-border payments. Uh, now, Swift, I mean, Swift is kind of a competitor. It's, it's, it's slightly more complicated than that because Swift is really just messaging. When you send a Swift transfer, it's not liquidity. You're actually sending mes bank messages to banks that have liquidity. So to some degree, Citibank and HSBC, uh, really the top two, JPM, those are the top three liquidity banks. And when you're sending Swift messages, you're sending messages to banks to release liquidity and making sure the debits and credits match. So to some degree, really boil it down, Ripple's competing with the liquidity of Citi and the messaging of Swift, but in one because we're both messaging and liquidity. You have Swift does messaging with a large data payload in the ISO 222 messages, but it doesn't do settlement. So the, the ultimate would be to bring these things together where you have messaging and settlement coming together, that who owns what machine working hand in hand with something you can transfer the, the large data payloads. And at the end of the day, you know, again, as I described, you know, Swift was developed 50 plus years ago. It architecturally hasn't really changed. It does remain slow, it remain, you know, days. It does remain relatively speaking expensive. So the, the ultimate would be to bring these things together where you have messaging and settlement coming together. Because we're both messaging and liquidity. By being a member of this group, RippleNet can actively contribute to shaping and aligning with the future of global payment messaging standards. RippleNet is already ISO 2022 compliant, meaning it can seamlessly integrate with the global financial system that is increasingly adopting this standard. Since RippleNet is built to facilitate cross-border payments, its compliance with ISO 2022 ensures XRP can be used efficiently as a bridge currency in these transactions. And you guys all know that this will further boost XRP's role as a liquidity provider for financial institutions as it can now interact smoothly with other compliant networks. Remember, compliance, AML, KYC, these are all gonna be very, very important. Know your customer. Anti-money laundering is what those acronyms are. And what does this mean for XRP? No other digital asset enterprise is in such position, which gives XRP a substantial competitive advantage. All this further underscores XRP's potential as the go-to asset for bridging currencies in a compliant, efficient, and scalable way. Ripple's influence here is not just about the technology, but about creating a new financial ecosystem where XRP plays an essential role. And stop. Stop talking about Chainlink. Stop talking about Elgrand, Hedera. They serve different use cases. Okay, please understand that. And will Swift have this magic new coin that they're going to come out with? The answer is no. Swift isn't likely to create a new coin or a digital asset for its cross-border settlement trials. Many of the institutions participating in the Swift network, such as MasterCard, Accenture, and Modulo Foundation, are already partnering with Ripple. RippleNet is actively used for cross-border payment uh, transactions by these entities, which strengthens these cases for XRP's inclusion. Uh, I can't attest for Accenture using it, but they're working with Ripple, uh, same with MasterCard. XRP as a neutral bridge currency allows these institutions to transact without the friction and cost of converting from one fiat currency to another. 
And you know how important this is. This cross-border liquidity is what SWIFT is aiming to achieve. And XRP is one of the most viable options to support this. When XRP is integrated into SWIFT's new digital asset framework, it would re reduce the need for financial institutions to hold large pools of ideal capital. Remember that locked up liquidity in different currencies. This could revolutionize the way institutions conduct cross-border transactions, making XRP indispensable for this process. This is very important. Remember, even when VET was talking about um, how RLUSD, each of these stable coins, like the yen, have enough liquidity, then XRP won't be needed. No. If that's the case, then you're going back to that system about having trap liquidity and having to hold liquidity in different currencies, right? Again, it defeats the whole purpose. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. This is very valuable information that I would really appreciate you guys sharing to your loved ones because they need to take advantage of this opportunity. That's it. XRP is not going anywhere. You got to understand how far Ripple and its digital asset XRP has come since inception. The network of trust that they have built over time will dwarf anything. That's what you need to understand because you guys are all very well educated on the fact that the financial ecosystem requires trust. And we all know that. And trust is the linchpin of the financial system. The money makes the world go around. If all the banks were to stop operating, if all the credit card debit machines were to stop operating, what are we doing? We all work for money, right? We all work for money. That's all it is. Money makes the world go around. So can you imagine if there's a company, there's an enterprise out there that's about to unlock trap capital and free up liquidity across all these different currencies by one viable universal uh, bridge currency. That's incredible, right? Just think about how big this is. And remember, I'm going to say this again. I say this all the time. We're going to witness stuff that we have never witnessed before. Our human minds haven't witnessed it. Get ready to witness it. Just like CV19. Nobody could have predicted that. And we all got played. We all, got, I mean, I didn't get played. I got none of that stuff. Since day one, I saw right through that. And for the individuals that saw right through that, it's incredible that, you know, we talked about this. Remember when all the things were going on, if you guys remember on my YouTube channel, we made videos on it. I was very careful about what I was saying. I was even sick. If you guys remember, I actually had it for two weeks and it was absolutely insane. I, it, it's, it was real. The whole thing was real. I was actually very, very sick. Uh, but the whole, you know, you got to get this, you got to get this was completely BS. Anyhow, with that being said, I do appreciate it for some money, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below of Swift's trial. We are only at the beginning, infancy stages, massive wealth is around the corner. And the last one is mindset. I think this is such a paradigm shift that it's, it's very difficult to, for most people in our industry to comprehend what I've just explained in my first response, the, 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 the potential of that technology. Because we're so used to what we do today that we sometimes tend to uh, not be open or able to, to look at what the potential could be in a very open-minded way. And I think that's also uh, something that will be changed through education, through... Eventually, be able to support robust global payments, large payments. RippleNet was designed so that customers seeing the benefits of our fiat based network could flip the switch to ODL once the market was mature enough. And this is exactly what's happening. Flip the switch. <laughs> I think what we're building has, you know, it's solving a real problem. And I think all of the tokens, my advice to anybody would be understand the utility. If there's real utility and there's real value being delivered to a real customer, there will be value in the token.